Hi everybody, it's Kosher Bacon, and welcome back to Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy Shootin' Dead by Lootin' I Am Grootin' Tail. That title is never going anywhere, guys. Sorry. Who we got here? Hey, Uncle. Am I gonna kick him? Oh, I'm gonna kick oh, him. Oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. <coughs> so, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, Fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a ride, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? You can do it, Arthur. <laughs> whoa, whoa, easy. Hey, Uncle, that is a gentleman. Right, let's go calm the horses. Calmed it down. The controls are still a tad bit funky, but yeah, let's go bring it back over to dude over there. personal cheerleading squad apparently lovely here here you go you heard gentlemen sir a gentleman no not really I was just trying to impress the women <laughs> well anyway thank you I mean, I have half a mind just to rob the dude, but, eh. The woman might not like that so much. <clears throat> Come on, let's go! To Valentine! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. Or 
What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse bold lizard. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Here's Valentine. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other this isn't people. a town, this is a hamlet. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Got the saloon. Down the main street. There's the sheriffs. On the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven <laughs> forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> That's a young man's game. <laughs> Oi. Ooh, yes. What's your problem? We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. I see they've got the working woman up there. Got some kind of general store. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Got saddles for horses. There's a... Just like I said, the All cultural right. center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. and Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, mm, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then <laughs> Damn. Shut up. Arthur does it's some serious place. burns. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Provisions. Let's take a look. Canned food, fresh food, dry goods, liquor, tobacco. Uh, let's try some fresh food, yeah? Anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Is there another page? Yeah, hide info, read, buy. Alright, they got a whole classic thing here. Here we go. Oh, they're sold out on some stuff. Interesting. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling alright? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Cocaine gum. <laughs> lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Ammunition, some arrows. Uh, I'm pretty good with 21. Gun oil. Well done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. More stimulants. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Uh, horse care clothing. Okay, yeah, I got nothing I care about here. If you sold guns, maybe. But I think we're pretty good in most counts. Yeah. 
Can I rap, dude? Actually, can I sell them? Got some coffee, gotta brew it though. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Anything we're full up on, we can probably sell one of, since you can only carry up to three. Like these here cigars. Oh, but that greatly restores Deadeye, I see. Anything. Shopkeeper does not accept this item, huh? He accepts gun oil, but not these pocket watches. Shame. He accepts coffee. Alright. It's going outside. Really? I stepped out for two oh, seconds. Your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Ken? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, boy. There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. <sighs> you thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Don't you try it. I see that hand. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Hey, right, guys. Look after her. This I'll might be a bit uh, <laughs> adult themed in yonder hotel. Fair warning has been given. Viewer discretion is advised. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all I'm looking you for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I'm surprised you told them that, but okay. <laughs> no trouble now, please! 2B, huh? 2A. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid for nothing. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and... But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. 
You want to maybe get dressed first? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Hold on, I just want to tell this guy everything's fine. Dude, tried to hit her. We don't do that here. No? Not gonna let me? Okay. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get Please. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, love of hey, Just bone it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now, please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. I'm probably going to be pretty neutrally gray here. I just out of curiosity. Find Karen within 45 seconds. Oh. That's not what I wanted. I wasn't trying to shoot the dang thing. I, why'd I slap it? The dude I was 100% trying to shoot. Let's go return that horse. That's not what I'm trying to do. Hey! My horse! Am I glad to see you! Out of the way! Here's your horse back, friend. Oh! You really? Why have you got it in for me? What is your problem? No, no, just examining it. You have a good day, sir. Evening. Evening, sir. Huh? But I... Alright, what ifs. Oh, hello again. Never too soon, huh? Alright, what you buying? Seem to recall hearing mention of that myself. the general store. I know there's some kind of mission in here, apparently. It's in next place over, apparently. Let's take a look.
Oh, yeah. There we go. This is the classic West. Oh, I want to thank him for playing. He's good. Oh, man. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, Arthur. Arthur, come here. Come here. Come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about to pal. kiss that guy Take or punch easy, him? Huh? Oh, oh, then we have our answer. <laughs> Bar brawl. Really? These bastards. Oh, come on. We can handle these fools. That the sheriff. Tommy, stay out of this. Come here, you little greaser. You're dead. Yeah, you hit him like I You want some too, huh? Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? Knock his head off! Yeah, doing great. This is so undignified. I think he said punch, punch, punch. Hey, come on, stop that! Stop! Stop! Please, please, I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Hey, am I gonna get my hat back? Check my Making wallet, maybe. New friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. 
How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. He they want Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Americans at rest. <laughs> oh, hey, there are bodies in here. these guys all right that was pretty fun uh, I don't think we got time for a full-sized mission yet do we maybe we do it's only been about 20 minutes I left my horse over there Ooh, I see a gun on the map howdy friend howdy New marksman in town. Welcome. Hello. Oh, you and I. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfield's? No. Yep. People are still talking about that fight. Really? It happened yeah, two minutes ago. Enough. Now there's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Permanently slows degradation for all weapons by a significant. Well, 10%. This is capacity for that and that. Damn, let's go to that index. Okay. Revolvers, pistols, repeaters, rifles, shotguns, and ammunition. Okay, let's take a look at these revolvers. The Buck Original. I see the stuff's on the next page. Damage range, fire rate, reload, accuracy. So this thing's got a much better fire rate, but so on and so forth. The most expensive pistol ever produced. This one here is locked. For some reason. Other than, you know, we don't have the money for it anyways. An automatic pistol. Semi-automatic pistol. A repeater. Carbine repeater. Wait, hold on. Go back a second. I already own the carbine repeater. Some pretty good guns here. Hunting rifle the whole family can enjoy. Springfield, dude, that's powerful. The bolt action, rolling block. Okay, the sawed-off shotgun we, of course, already own. The double-barrel shotgun, the pump action shotgun, the semi-auto, the repeating shotgun. Ooh, that looks good. Various ammunitions. So an upgraded bandolier we couldn't even afford. An upgraded holster slows degradation for all weapons by 10%. That's pretty good. I don't know how weapon degradation works yet. I'm still figuring that out. Right, well, sadly, buddy, unless you can get me something a little cheaper or better in general. Okay, let me see. Worth a shot. Okay, need to close it. Let's go. I need to close it, huh? 
Well, hold on. Let's... All the trouble in Valentine of late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Curse? Okay, you can kind of customize the knife and stuff. Let's check out that double action revolver. Alright, so you can clean it. Components, grip. Already got the pearl grip. Barrel, length. Already got the longer barrel. I guess it's some good stuff there. Rifling. Costs fifteen dollars, Jesus. Slightly improve the range. Eh, it's a pistol. Iron sights. Improves our accuracy by a notable amount, and you know we get iron sighting on it. Five dollars. You good lord are out of your mind. Ammunition. How about that carbine repeater? Yeah, sure. Components. Barrel. Rifling. We can improve the range on it slightly. Give it some iron sights, improve our accuracy with it, but it's already pretty accurate. We could slap a scope on it instead. That's some good, uh... Oops, wrong one. What about the stock? Alright, the stock is just how it looks, which granted does look pretty cool, but still... There's a wrap? Well, it doesn't do anything for us there. And there's different styles for it. Ammunition. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna guess the bow doesn't do it. Thanks for coming in. So there's a strangers and freaks over there. But I'm not really looking to do that. Well there. Hey, easy girl. Man, I'm wanted for horse theft. Alright. The law is searching for us. We're on the lamb now. Wait, we're always on the lamb. Alright, looks like they do actually go out of the area, funny enough. It beats the star system, I'm gonna say that. Yep. It's like 5 a.m. Yep. Pitch horse to a tree? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. 
I didn't really want to become wanted over there, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Or pay off your bounty at the post office. I wanted to check out those bounties that they had posted for other people, so I guess we'll go do that. That's fine. I'll spend the 15 bucks of stupidity. We'll get it back. Could have bought an attachment to a gun for that kind of money, but we'll buy it back. We're gonna try and circumvent town and come at it from a different angle. <laughs> kind of a weird cliff thing here, but I'm sure we'll find a way down. Okay. Why though? this way and just follow the train tracks. I imagine we could probably go hunting with a horse, our horse, bring the thing into town, sell it at the butcher kind of deal. Next time we commit a crime, we better uh, put on a thingy. For a clean slate. Just to be honest, it was all a big misunderstanding. Hmm. Don't got no mail Thank to send. You and yeah, bounties paid. We still got fifty bucks to our name. Next time we rob a horse or steal a horse, we'd better. Uh, So does this mean we get to keep the horse now? Press and hold it. Go easy, All right, so we're no longer wanted in Valentine. Let's go over to that sheriff's office now and see about those bounties, I guess. There's a right, left down here, and then right, and then the next right, I think, down Main Street. Nope, oh, or not. This will be the episode. Catch y'all later. Thanks. Bye.